Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you a very basic introduction of the newly designed congestion aware load balancing protocol on my people switch. Currently in data center they are using ECMP, the equal cost multipath routing strategy for low balancing. However, there is some problem of this strategy. This diagram is showing you how ECMP works. ECMP has the five fields which are source IP, destination IP, source port and destination port and also the protocol. It has the five fields that determines the egress port for the packets. Normally ECMP would evenly distribute the packet to port 1 and port 2 from the TOR switch in this diagram. If this is the case, you will get about 200 megabits per second throughput. However, ECMP is using hash functions to determine the forwarding egress port. Therefore, there might be some possibility of some hash value making the packet forwarding to the same egress port that may lead to temporary congestion. In this case, if two TCP flows are hashed into the same egress port, then the maximum throughput of them would become 100 megabit per second instead of 200 megabit per second. Therefore, we have a newly decided congestion aware the protocol called Expeditus to solve this problem. In this case, there is one TCP flow existing. When another TCP flow is starting, the switch can detect it port 1 is more congested and the newly coming TCP flow will be forwarded to the least congested port that is port 2 in this case so with this strategy we can simply reduce the chance for the congestion next we would have the demonstration of Expeditus and ECMP. The first experiment is showing that non-TCP packets is working on ECMP. The two terminals on the left are the hoses on the left, and the two terminals on the right are the are the hoses on the right. The hoses on the left would ping the hoses on the right and the hoses on the right would also ping the hoses on the left that could show the connection of the network is ok and also showed that ECMP is work for non-TCP packets the second experiment is similar to the first one but we changed the switches to use expeditors instead of ECMP this can show that Expeditus is also works for non-TCP packets. The third experiment is showing the problem of ECMP. The hoses on the right would be the TCP server and the hoses on the left would be the TCP client. One client would generate one TCP flow and keep generating traffic, and the second client would generate 10 TCP flow after that. If there is congestion on the network, the sum of both traffic would become about 100 megabits per second. If there is no congestion on the network, the sum of both traffic would become about 200 megabits per second.
we can see some TCP flow traffic become slower. It shows that ECMP would lead to congestion even in a simple case. The final experiment is going to show how expeditors perform when facing to the same situation. We can see every TCP flow keeps about 100 megabits per second traffic. It shows that expeditors could prevent congestion in the simple case. Thank you very much for watching this video.